Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Starbase. We are back, and I am feeling really, really good about this game now. I played quite a bit on my own, and I've discovered some things, learned how to play a little bit better, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. So let me let me explain what I've discovered. Where am I? Um, I'm near the uh, the job sites at the beginning, so I need to get to a spaceport, which should be right over here. Alrighty. Here we go. Spawn that ship, and first of all, we're going to talk about the fueling. I figured out how to do it. It's pretty cool, actually. It's a pretty cool system. So, a lot of you may know this if you play Starbase. I don't know if you do or not. Uh, but, you have to replace a whole bunch of different kinds of fuel. So, right off the bat, we can see... We've got fuel chamber, fuel propellant, and we've got batteries. These recharge based off of your generator. And your generator is this thing right here. Your generator uses a fuel rod. Your thrusters use propellant. So, at least that's what I understand. It doesn't really matter what each thing uses. You just gotta know how to recharge everything. So this is the generator. And this is where the fuel rod is. This little thing right here is a fuel rod. And you can just pick it up by pressing E. Look at that. This is a really cool system. Of recharging your devices see look at that and now my fuel rod is in there the generator is all set and you start off with four extra fuel cells in your ship the starter ship has four extra cells so there's no need to worry about fuel when you start off and they're pretty easy to refuel you just have to go and get some kind of mineral and recharge it and it's it's pretty simple next I figured out all you have to do is stand next to the crafting table and it starts working it's a uh, via proximity kind of thing, which is pretty cool. I like that. It, it makes it so you don't have to, like, go up to the crafting table every time you want to make something. You can just make it if you're in the easy build zone, really. So that's pretty cool. So, all in all, I've been having some real good fun with this game. But today, I have something, uh, I have something planned. We're going shopping. So I've been doing, uh, I've been doing quite a bit of work. Flying out, getting asteroids, and selling the ore to try and get some money. Now, I'm going to go buy a spaceship. I've been saving up, and I think I have enough. Store that ship. Okay, this is cool. So I've been saving my money for quite some time. I've, I've as I said, I put in quite a few hours to this game, and uh, not anywhere near a pro or anything, but we've got some good money, and it's time to spend it. So I'm kind of looking to maybe buy two ships today. Uh, I don't have all that much money, but I've got quite a bit in terms of some of the cheaper ships. So what's really cool about this is you can just hit this little button right here. You can test out the ship and fly it around and do some real quick woo -hoo 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 -hoo, do some real quick uh, looking around with the ship. So let's take a look at this one. I have no idea what it is. I just clicked on the first one I could see. It looks like it might be a cargo ship. Doesn't look like it probably be too quick. I'm looking for something a little speedy, a little bit on the speedy side, so I can zip around and get all the asteroids super quickly and make even more money. So let's see what we've got in the, in the, ooh, we've got cruise control there. Generator power here, that's good. Uh, lights, ooh, we've got some lights on this bad boy. All right, uh, well let's see how she flies. Let's see how she flies. Ooh, that's actually really peppy. Holy moly, this thing can fly! Okay. Okay. I'm impressed. And the maneuverability on it. Look at this. I am zipping around. Holy cow, I am impressed. Okay. Okay, good first good first impressions. Alright, I like it. This is one to keep in mind. Okay, okay. Well let's uh let's keep this one in mind here. Where are we? What is your name? What is your name, sir? Uh, I need the boards to load in, please. You are, uh, ship has five ore crates and can move at, uh, laborer is a civilian do-it-yourself ship that can be upgraded with additional cargo crates. Oh, so this is like the, uh, original laborer module, but better. Okay, that's cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I look so silly. Oh, but in order for there not to be huge loading times in this game, <laughs> the textures have to load in pretty slow. There we go. Oh, goodness, that looked funny. Ooh, this one's cool. It looks like a turtle. Probably moves very slowly, but look at the space it's got inside. Look at this, it's a troop carrier. 
Okay, we gotta take a look at this one. Whoa, it's got so many thrusters on the back. Maybe it wouldn't be slow. What's this bad boy called? I wanna know. Um, 452,000. Okay, that's a lot of money. The Anubis is a mining vessel designed to transport the mining crew deep into the asteroid field. Whoa, 12 passengers. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. If I had a whole bunch of people to play with, that would be amazing. Let's, uh, wait, what did I just do? Door up. Oh, I thought this said D-group. Whoa. Oh, very bright. I My eyes have been assaulted by everything lately. What is this? Cooling? Uh, I'm just gonna turn everything off. I'm sure they won't mind. Doesn't seem to do anything. Let's head downstairs and see what's, see what's, whoa, look at the cargo space on this bad boy. This is so cool. I love this ship. I don't have enough money for it though. And I don't have a crew. I don't have a crew big enough to justify this kind of a purchase anyways. I want to test fly it real quick just to see what it's got in terms of speed and maneuverability. Oh, hey, oh, where, where, whoa. Okay, we're here in the pilot seat. Uh, let's go. Not as sluggish as I was thinking on the up and down movement. Okay. Let's see the acceleration. Ah, uh, yeah, now that's kind of slow. But to be expected, I guess. Um, is the generator even on? I feel like I was running on battery power. Uh, where's my generator button? Uh, there is no generator button, which is a little bit unhelpful. But you know what? That's okay. I saw the speed. It's slow. But that's what I expected. It's just to take tons of people out and get absolute loads of mining done all at once. So that's really, really cool. I like that. There's a lot more ships to look at, so let's just get going. Look at this little dude. <laughs> oh, that one's cool. It's like a... It's like a ship transport kind of thing. At least I think it is. It looks like it would be. <laughs> this looks like a submarine. Oh, that's cool. Okay, what are you? I want to read the sign on this one. Da da da. The Surf is a basic minimalistic shuttle. Best suited for short distance travel. The Surf has a seat for one pilot and it can reach a top speed of approximately 81 meters per second. The Surf is suitable for pilots with starter level skills. Well, that would not be me. That is in my price range, but I'm looking for something a little bit quicker than that. I did do a little bit of looking around in the shop and I saw something that caught my eye, but I don't know about it because it was a little on the pricier side and it didn't really have mining capabilities, so we'll just we'll just see what we can we'll just see what we can find. The Pioneer is unarmed, versatile spaceship, equipped with radio transmitters and a large set of programmed YOLOL <laughs> chips <laughs> with autopilot configurations, making a ship well suited for patrol duties. Oh, so it can autopilot. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Is that a mining laser? Hold on. The Urchin is a cargo ship. It comes equipped with two tractor beams. Cargo lock frame, two box thrusters, 16 triangle thrusters, and 16 maneuver thrusters. The ship also has four generator units and two fuel chambers. The Urchin can ma reach maximum speed, so it's a little slow. Intermediate level ship. Unable to retrieve ship data. Well, that's not fun. But it's got tractor beams that can grab things. Uh, what are you? Remolus. Remulus cargo ship. Uh, still slow. I think I'm approaching the ones I was looking at. Yeah, 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 down here. This blobby thing. This one's pretty cool. So let's see. The Zillant is a fast ship originally designed for racing. The Zillant comes with a, comes equipped with 16 triangle thrusters, 13 maneuver thrusters, one generator unit, and two fuel chambers. The ship's maximum speed is 95 meters per second. See? It's a speedy one, and it's super cool. Look. Look at that. That's so cool. You've got the doors on top that open up. Where was the, uh, there was a button in here. Yeah. And look, watch this, watch this. Oh, this is straight up Star Citizen in here. You've got the, sh the seats that pull back. Look at that. This is so cool, and I can control the top hatch from here. I'll let people on my ship because I've got a couple of uh, passenger seats back there. Uh, let's take this one out for a test test drive. 
I want to show you guys what it can do. Here we are. Let's just, uh, let's just scoot around. Look at the speed on this thing. Absolutely zooming. Now, I will say, I don't think it has any mining or cargo spots on it. So that is a downside. But I was thinking, I was thinking, if I bought this ship and this ship, <laughs> look at this stupid little thing. But this is a super fast little mining ship. Let me show you. These are the two ships I was looking at in the first place. So this one is this one is a transport ship that is all about speed and maneuverability. So let's let's take this guy out for a look. Look at this guy. He's zipping even faster than the racing ship. Look at him go. Absolute mad lad of a ship. This is the kind of mining ship I'm looking for. And it can hold quite a bit too. Let's actually see exactly how much it can hold. Where is the connection port? Right there. And uh, that's quite a bit of cargo space. It's about as much as I have now in uh, my ship. Which is quite a bit, but it's uh, a lot faster. That's the plus side. We're looking at this. This is like first purchase because I feel like I should purchase something that's functional and not just cool. Because this guy over here, he's just for show. And uh, I don't actually know how to operate it either. Because like I was looking around in here, I can't find the fuel cells and I can't find uh, the generator buttons or anything so I don't know if it has them or if I'm just really stupid it also looks like it has uh, missiles <laughs> but I don't think it does because it says it's unarmed it's a space it's a what's this do does that turn power on and off is this my power well this one is 119 and this one is 50 I have over 200,000 I have like 230,000 or something so I can buy this and the other mining ship if I really really want to which at this point I'm kind of feeling like I really really want to I'm stuck ah these are my uh, top two right now though I kind of want to look at this <laughs> uh, yeah this looks this looks incredible not gonna lie uh, let's let's read up on it do our homework okay what are you called the Hedron is a small and nimble civilian ship suitable for exa for example for interstation travel. The ship has a low flight time, so storing spare fuel in the ship for longer travels is advisable. Hmm. Why does it look like a box? That's what I want to know. I want to go inside. Where's the door? Let me in, please. Open up. It's like a flying house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool. Uh, turn on some lights in here. Shut the door. Shut the door. Need some privacy. Shut that door. Oh, the lights go on both sides. Okay. This is cool. Look at the view you can get out of this boy. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, very noisy. Uh, let's see. Here's the fuel rods. Oh, it has two fuel rods. Hmm. Okay. I wonder why the other ship doesn't have any. Or maybe I'm just dumb and I wasn't looking in the right place. Maybe they're on the out. So, so many buttons. I don't know what 90% of these do. I don't know what any of them do. What am I talking about? <gasps> Why? Why so much information? What does, what does the ship do? It's a civilian ship. Land? Okay, that's cool. It has an automatic landing function. Okay, that's cool. Not gonna lie. And you can build ships like this. I don't even I don't even want to get started with the building of ships. This seems incredibly ambitious. I don't know. That seems way out of my league. <laughs> this is incredible. This is so cool. This is why I love this game. Because the ships get so incredibly complex. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. Also in my price range. What are you? The Kodiak is a civilian transport ship. Four box thrusters, 14 maneuver thrusters, two generator units, and one fuel chamber. It's a transport ship, so does it have cargo? It's cool looking. Like a little caterpillar. How do I get in? Is there a top hatch? Oh! <gasps> no way. Oh! Oh, I thought it was an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. In Star Citizen, some of the ships have elevators to get into, and they're really, really cool. Where's the button? Uh, 
Close door, please. Oh, that's cool. Is that the pilot? Wait, what is this? Is that just a passenger seat? Oh, is this a co-pilot seat? That's cool. Here's the fuel rod. Seems like everything has a fuel rod. Maybe I just missed it on the other one. Uh, generator button is over here. This looks complicated to fly alone. Hmm. Where's the cargo? I don't know if it has cargo. It might be just a civilian transport ship, like a people transport ship. Hmm. That might be it. It's still cool, though. I gotta be honest, guys. I'm looking at that race car and little mining dude. I'm looking at them real good. I think they could be really, really fun. Um, I'm gonna go back over to the racing one, take him out again, and see if I can get all the ins and outs on him. See what, see what's up. Just get the, get the lowdown, if you know what I mean. So, right away, we're getting out of here. Uh, open the doors, please. Up we go. Ah. And, let's take a look around. So, there is no connection port. Oh wait, there is a connection port right here. Do you have any cargo space? No. You do not. You have literally nothing. What's this? Ah! A bottom hatch. I didn't even know it had that. Wait. Is this where... <gasps> I found it! Yes! I can do this! That's really, really cool. That's awesome. It's got a hood. Or a bonnet. As some people call it. That's amazing. Why do I have no cargo space though? Why does it have a connection port if there's no cargo? That's so cool. Okay. This is it. We're doing this. We're doing this purchase. We're buying this bad boy and the mining bad boy. This is so cool. I'm excited. Oh, we're going to be going so quick. Flying around the galaxy. Alright, this might be an extremely foolish purchase. But... I have some money and I'm gonna splurge a little bit. This guy is this guy is very good. He's gonna help me a lot. This guy's just for show and showing off to my friends that I don't have. Okay, let's purchase this one first just to make sure I have enough money. I'm pretty sure I do. Where's my money? It doesn't show me my money. Will it show me my money when I click this? Insufficient materials? What? I have to build it? <laughs> oh no. I have to build it. Dang. Oh no, what's this one gonna take? Oh, I was wondering what this was. Okay. Well. It doesn't take a lot of each material. It takes a lot of charodium. I don't even know what some of these are. Whoa. Why do I have to provide the materials? This is a store. The ship is right here. Maybe I'm just gonna work on this one first. Oh, dang it. That's not fair. Well, that puts a damper on my plans. <laughs> Still exciting though because I am gonna buy those two ships Because uh, I'm not building any of my own. I just I do not have the mental capabilities of that not yet I played a lot of this game. I have not built a single thing I haven't even tried to build it. I went into the easy build area Well, not the easy build the ship design uh, station. No, thank you. Absolutely. No, thank you That would be way too over my head like really over my head well, I've got a goal now. I've got more stuff to do. Yay! Uh, I'm gonna go back actually and take a screenshot of those boards so that I can know what I have to get while I'm out in space. All right, well now I have a, a shopping list. Oh goodness, why do they make me provide my own materials? Oh, poo, whatever. I guess this is just a display and uh, you have to bring in the resources for them to fabricate it. Oh. That's sad. I was so excited I was gonna have a brand new ship today. Uh, oh well. Well, it's a, it's a goal for later. Anyways, I think that's uh, gonna do it for this episode. Hopefully we can get on to some more exciting stuff like eventually building my own space station and my home and stuff. I don't even know how to do that yet. But we're working on it. 
these episodes are probably going to be slower and few and far between because they just take so much time and uh, effort on my part learning the game. So I have to take time out of my schedule to just play and learn this, and uh, that takes time because I, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty stupid. And it takes me a long time to learn things. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Starbase. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't already and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more Starbase and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon.